locusts. In the vast and barren deserts of the world, a silent invasion is taking place. An ancient enemy, long thought to be under control, is making a comeback. This enemy is the locust, and its return is causing havoc on a global scale. Welcome to the world of the locust plague, a phenomenon that has plagued humanity for centuries. But what is it? And where did it come from? In this video, we will explore the evolution of the locust and the devastating invasions that have occurred throughout history. The locust is a type of grasshopper that can be found in many parts of the world. They are typically solitary creatures, but under certain conditions, they can undergo a process called swarming. This is when they gather in large groups, often in the millions, and migrate together in search of food. For centuries, locusts have been a major pest, devouring crops and ruining livelihoods. But in recent years, their populations have exploded, leading to devastating invasions in countries all over the world. This is not just a problem for farmers, but for entire communities and economies. So what is causing this resurgence in locust populations? The answer lies in the evolution of the locust itself. For most of the year, locusts live as solitary insects, going about their business without causing much harm. But under certain conditions, something triggers a transformation in the locusts, turning them into voracious swarms. But why do they swarm? It turns out that the key to understanding the locust plague lies in their biology. Locusts have a unique feature called phase polyphenism. This means that their behavior and morphology can change depending on population density. When there are a few locusts around, they remain in a solitary phase. But when their population becomes too dense, they switch to a gregarious phase and begin to swarm. This gregarious phase is characterized by a number of changes, including increased aggression, a change in coloration, and the development of wings. These changes allow the locusts to move together as a group and to fly long distances in search of food. But what causes What causes these population densities to rise? Climate change is a major factor. Drought and extreme weather events can cause food shortages, leading to a higher population density of locusts. This, in turn, triggers their gregarious phase and the formation of a swarm. The consequences of a locust invasion can be devastating for both humans and the environment. They can eat their way through entire crops, leaving farmers without a livelihood and causing food shortages. In addition, their waste can contaminate water sources and spread disease. The history of locust invasions is a long and varied one. They have been recorded in ancient texts and depicted in art for thousands of years. One of the most famous invasions occurred in ancient Egypt, where they were seen as a sign of divine wrath. But it's not just ancient history. Locust invasions continue to occur in modern times. In 2020, East Africa experienced one of the worst locust plagues in decades, with swarms devastating crops and causing food shortages. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways to combat the locust plague. One method is to use pesticides, but this can have negative effects on the environment and other species. Another method is to use natural predators, such as birds and reptiles, to control the population. But they are not a long-term solution. The key is to tackle the root causes of the problem, such as climate change and land use changes but it will take a coordinated effort from governments, scientists, and communities to do so. In the meantime, farmers and communities must continue to suffer the devastating consequences of the locust invasion. In conclusion, the locust plague is a complex and multifaceted issue that has affected humanity for thousands of years. The locust plague is a reminder of the delicate balance of nature and the impact that humans can have on it. But by understanding the biology and behavior of the locusts and the environmental factors that trigger their invasions, we can work towards finding solutions to this ongoing problem. It's a problem that won't be solved overnight, but with the right actions and cooperation, 
we can hopefully bring it under control.